So if you hit, you want to get her going early today. You see they're bringing out ball pressure on the freshman Timerson. Good look for Aaron Battle, another true freshman. She is from New Jersey. And has taken her game to another level, and that's individual ownership, that's accountability. Underneath the basket by Blackshear. And always trying to get it into King. Morgan, who Coach Hortner calls a dynamic athlete, able to get out in space and score in transition. Mason. All the way across court. And then the nice finish for Iadell. With the new coaching staff this season. That rolls on in for Blackshear. King, drawing two defenders. This will help the pit get hit from the outside, and Malcolm does just that. They only hit on average four of them a game in a 28% clip, both last in this now 15-team league. Will be 18 teams next year. Count that for Tony Morgan. The contact, she's able to finish. I think this is where she's improved so much. Her body control being... Trying to change things up at Pitt, kind of a no-nonsense kind of coach. And he's got a great response from his players. He certainly has gotten the best out of King. Morgan. Outside shot, nailed. That's the second one for Malcolm. And you mentioned it, second three-pointer for Malcolm as Pitt gets a turnover and a score. Inside to Blackshear, who got off to a quick start, and that breaks the drought. It's tonight, hey. Best three-point shooter on this team. Comes in there to be his own buster. Perkins gets two off the glass. Richardson fake to Dunn and then fired away. Rebound taken down by Aaron Battle, and the finish and foul. Dunn trying to post up on Perkins. Now she gets it. Nice look. With the defense collapsing, she got it to Blackshear. Morgan pulls up. Hits it. Oh, Morgan. Including Tony, Tony Morgan's to take the one point lead. Winner gets Duke tomorrow. On the season, only averaging nine points per game. That is second best behind King's 19 points. She already has nine. Perkins with the two. There's a good look for Dunn. Rebound to Gustinite, who cashes in. King. Picks up her dribble, tough turnaround. Hutcherson able to come away with the offensive rebound. Taken away by Morgan to Dunn. Perfect. So it's been so far so good. Gusenaite. Got a very friendly ball. Pitt lost a couple players themselves in their regular season finale. Rebound and the putback. Good work. She's got some confidence. <laughs> she does. I mean, she's a flat out scorer. Zips it over to Morgan with some style on that pass. Knocked down by Sydney Johnson. Being outscored 12 to 7 in this quarter. Pitt has hit one of its last 10 shots. Gone two minutes plus without a point. Johnson pops it. When she makes some three pointers back in the day. Yeah, she had some stuff going on uh -huh. in North Carolina. She sure did. In the league for a long time as well. Kelsey Riggs over there. Look forward to their analysis at the half. A much needed three for Perkins. On the season, just hitting 30% from distance, but has made the most threes on this team. Inside a minute. Here she goes again. Bella for three. Got it. Georgia Tech hasn't scored in two and a half minutes. Morgan elevates. Missed everything, but saved it. Good hustle.
Didn't hang her head after the air ball. Well, Arbenez, are you serious? They hit their first win in the ACC tournament since 2020. Right off the bat, they go to Leah two, and she finally gets on the scoreboard with the second chance. Simerson, the freshman point guard, pressed into action. And there's another one. Morgan, terrific pass, hitting done. But a great defensive play. Simerson starting at the point with Washington's being injured. Their starting point guard there is the lead two king we're used to seeing. I mean, I think it's an outstanding list. Liz Kitley, only the third three-time ACC Player of the Year winner. Lead two king, most improved, and, and, and Pam, we've seen her throughout the Morgan's driving in, gets it over to Johnson, baseline jumper. Rebounded by Perkins. Came running the floor really well and got fouled. Hitting 66% on the season from the line. Another three from Malcolm. Johnson, done. Three point attempt. There we go. There we go. That's good execution. You get the defense to shift. The on ball screen, the slip out. You get a miscommunication. Okay. Going to work. Ball tipped. Timerson gets it back to King, who hits it and is fouled again. Good execution. Timerson, that was a big time play. Attacking a closeout, getting Leah to King. The winner again gets Duke tomorrow. Done. Wide open. Missed everything, or was that a pass? It was an assist. Marley Washington hit her ankle in the last regular season game against BC, so her foot is in a boot. And a nice finish. Perkins thought about popping it instead. Drives, gives it over to King. Perkins has been a really good lift for Pitt off the bench. The baseline was found by Timerson. Good execution. Finding ways to bring Leah Two King to the ball, running some off ball screening action for her. Tony Morgan forcing her way in. Well, to attack the seams of the defense, you can do it with penetration, dribble penetration, or with passes. And they've not been able to do it in the second half. Morgan missed that one to the right. Done. Came out of the pack and was able to score. Emerson gets it to King, but she's defended by Blackshear. They bring the trap with it's denied it. Good box. Morgan trying to go coast to coast, and she does. A lot to be excited about if you're, if you're no Fortin. Pass over there from Perkins. Year. Driving on Hutcherson, playing with four fouls and hits. And extends the lead to five. Perkins, got it! And a, a big lift off the bench for the Pitt Panthers. I don't know if there's a miscommunication, if there's supposed to be a switch, if there's not supposed to be a switch, but it was late. Another important one for Dunn. <laughs> with the three. Morgan drives down. Good Got it. Scoring the last nine points. King. Up and in. Pit Panthers. Lead to King. Might be a microcosm of the day. Mm -hmm.